so, um, yeah, I did a dum-dum, like a real dum-dum. I didn't realize that, um, my mic was a little bit unplugged, so I, I apologize for that. Um, yeah, so you're ba so basically I have to record over this entire episode, or at least part of it. Um, I, I hope y'all enjoyed anyway, but uh, without further ado, welcome to episode 100, and what I did here was I decided, hey, we're gonna kill Fenris, Fenris Sulfur, Fenris Sulfur, whatever the hell it's called, uh, which we do. Um, we take on Gamma, Beta, and Alpha, and you'll see soon enough exactly how that goes. Um, each of the creatures that you see before you is at the max level it can be, and, uh, the, these are the latest and greatest of my mutations as far as the Acrocanthosaurus and the Dinotherium are concerned. So, um, yeah. Good stuff. I believe it's something like they have 26, like the Acros have 26 or 25 melee, and then, uh, someone, something like 16... H, uh, HP mutations, so we have uh, around 40, or 41 to 42 mutations, and then the Dinotherium are at 9 and 12 HP and melee, respectively. But, yeah, uh, I had to... The reason why this took so long and why it's a little late is that we had to go through the entire... Uh, I had to, that I had to level them up, I had to get them bred up and all that good stuff. I wanted to make sure we were overly... We were well and truly prepared because this boss is one of the toughest in the entire game from what I've been told and uh, you'll see why that's true here pretty soon I think. By the way, if you enjoy this video, do me a solid, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friends, comment, all that good stuff. It really does help me out. And once again, I do apologize for the screw up. Uh, hopefully it doesn't matter too much. I also hope there's no echo. I can hear a little bit of one, but I don't... Nah, nah, never mind. Uh, okay, I'm just uh, re-watching this a little bit here. I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to talk for this, um, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, in certain instances, I'll just let the moment play out. Uh, at least the in-game audio was recorded. I'm happy about that. That would have That would have sucked if it wasn't. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this is, this is 48 minutes, I don't know if I'm gonna do much editing to it, but, um, yeah. Yeah, this is episode 100, and I do feel even worse for the fact that it's supposed to be, like, a special thing, like a special episode, and, of course, I made the dumb mistake of, uh, basically what happened was, my mic is on a stand that comes over the side of my desk, so I went to... Uh, so I went to, um, oh my god, brain. So I went to, um, like, mess with, I meant to put a new, a new, uh, case of printer paper, uh, next to my, next to my computer. I, I go and do that, and I guess I hit the, hit the mic cable, which caused it to pull out from, pull out partly from the mic itself, so I didn't notice it until I checked it. And the lesson here is always check your equipment, make sure everything is working as well as it should be. Because the last thing you want to happen is, uh, this. Still, I think the content will be pretty good, and, um, yeah. Alright, man, what am I doing? <laughs> Pass TBT, get on it. <laughs> what are you doing? Right there, I had to I had to momentarily pause because I had to a answer a question from my mother. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep, there we go. Getting on it. Getting on it. By the way, uh, just be this is technically the 101st episode, but since we're not counting episode zero numerically. This is episode 100, regardless. Episode 0 was never meant to be an episode, but I ended up turning it into one because it just fit naturally. Um, also, we're noting this is, as I said, we're going to be we're going to be hitting up Gamma here. But uh, yeah, let's see what else did I want to talk about that I can get out of the way now so I can shut up and let the fight play out. Okay. 
future things going forward. This is not the last episode of the Let's Play. Um, I think that one will be fighting the Savage Acrocanthosaurus. Maybe not. We'll see. As I said, regardless, in the map is going to be sticking around. We're going to be doing other crazy things on it. Uh, there's so many things to take a look at that we should be doing. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. When you go to my friend with Sue, I didn't say it. Say it, but, uh, you need to bring with you all of the all of the boss trophies. Like what are they? Yeah, like all of the boss heads from uh, Gamma, Beta, Alpha, respectively, depending on the fight. So you need to kill all the world bosses to get their wounds so you can fight the island guardians to then allow you to fight this Fenris Super. Oh there he is, there's the chunky goofy boy. Look at him. Look at him patiently. Oh, he has no idea what's about to happen to him. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, this boss is one of the more difficult ones. Uh, mostly it has like a pretty nasty factor. It has a yeah, right there. I almost got burned by that. Although at that range, I don't know if it would have killed me, and I'm not even certain if that is actually the owl attack. I think it is. But, uh... No, no, I took some damage. I thought you could see that also killed me. Back at the top of the pool. I'm pretty sure that what actually happened there was I actually took some damage from the owl. The owl itself is sort of easy to kill, and that if you're too close, it doesn't. It's absolutely correct. That's Gamma for you, really easy. That's the whole point of Gamma, is to keep practice, a practice. But uh, back to my earlier point, I do enjoy the fact that you have to have killed all the world bosses and fought each of the three guardian enemies once if you're going to do this boss, because there's a level of progression there that's required. And I will say the added challenges presented by this boss are, are like greater explorations of things that a lot of the world, world bosses do. So I'm, I'm happy to see those newer mechanics that make this a more entertaining boss, even if it ends up resulting in me still having to stand back and do uh, and do nothing but uni roar, which is it's just fine. I still think it's I still think this is a very good boss fight. What the hell are we doing? Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna chomp on my. Chop on my uh, my chicken wings there that sound like a bag of chips. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, I thought my game actually crashed here. <laughs> like I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I think the funniest part was I was talking into my microphone, just giving my full giving my full spiel, and it wasn't even picking it up. So I was just sitting there talking to myself for like 48 minutes. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, the next thing that we do here, if you're gonna do what I did, which is take on all of this, all of the, like, all three versions of the boss, the thing you wanna do is, um, make sure that you check your, you check your format, your warrior, your army, make sure they're doing okay with what we're about to do here. Anything that needs healing gets healed. I make a little box to put all my boss loot in so we can just deal with it later. Oh, oh, you, as you can see, you get quite a lot of element for killing this guy. You also unlock the tech sword and you get a Fenrir, which is leveled either anywhere from 150 to 225, depending on the difficulty of the boss when you kill it. Uh, and Fenrir is really interesting because it has, yeah, everything's looking fine here, but Fenrir is really neat because Fenrir has this, um, mm, excuse me. Oh, man. Fenrir has this, um, what's it called? Has this, wow, brain. Fenrir has a resistance to this, uh, this thing, to the Fenrir Soldier's ice-based attacks, and also cannot be knocked in the air, which is really helpful. Really helpful when fighting it. But unfortunately, 
I just don't think Fenrir's Sulfur really has the HP unless you max out its level to to deal with it, to actually approach that boss fight in a good way. Um, I say that, though, as a certain level of bias, because most of these acros and uh, Dinotherium have over 100,000 HP and um, at least a thousand points, or not a thousand points, but a thousand percent into their melee, which, you know, is pretty, pretty wacky, just pretty nutty by itself. And again, these Armada creatures are the Arcaditions mod, so they're a little bit stronger than your normal creatures, although I think they're still balanced to them. Like, the rest, you can absolutely take down an Acrocanthosaurus, especially if the rider of that Acrocanthosaurus isn't paying attention, <laughs> or just is completely forgetting about shield stance into enraged mode. Yeah, they are beatable, it's just very difficult to do so. Um, alrighty. Guess we're just, yeah, are we just going for beta here? I think we are. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is actually going to be interesting to see how this works as an experiment, because I want to know how my voice sounds on here when I'm recording it after the fact. It also means there's not going to be any wacky sound effects, because I uh, do not have the patience to deal with all of that <laughs> and basically talking again. Man, oh man, nah, I don't like that. By the way, you will probably be seeing this video uh, tomorrow. Uh, today is Saturday. I noticed the error now as I was finishing up editing it. So, uh, yeah, you'll probably be getting this Sunday. Hi, so happy with this fight that I worked on getting all of the getting these creatures there so you can see there my my uh my dommy mommy rexes my domination rexes definitely took some damage um, so did my so did a couple of my acros other thing is that this boss appears to have a much smaller hitbox whereas something like the blue mother basically has kind of a cone uh this thing appears to have a much more like a line in front of it and that's both that's really good for me because it means that when you what you see happening here uh, in this fight and the previous one is that my mount my tank boxed him in so he couldn't do anything and basically just went to town on him and bullied him harder than the bullies in the schoolyard when they surround that surround the one kid like that particular cliche like that was ridiculous um, 
if the boss had been able to move freely, I think we would have been seeing a lot more damage. <sighs> oh, and game almost dies again. Man, now that we're back, I can take a moment. It's been a wild ride, it really has. And I, I have loved every bit of it, but uh, I think, I think I'm going to like after we do, man, even maybe before, I might need a little bit of a break from, uh, from Ark. Nah, nah, I'm not going to take them. We're going to, we're going to see it through to the end and finish it. I will do my Aberration Let's Play, but I might, uh, play to do some fun stuff with some other games, just a little bit first, or not, nah, we'll see. I don't know, lots of things changing, and my schedule is getting busier, so how that's going to work, I am not yet sure, I will have to let you know. Um, yeah, lots of things, lots of things happening, still got lots of plans for this map, including doing more water stuff, you know, exploring, seeing what other creatures can be boss killers in the right situation. You know, all, all kinds of crazy experiments, and of course the Giga, and, you know, literally everything mutation video. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I see here I'm going through the tech gram, seeing what's been unlocked. The only thing I gained access to is the tech sword. And, uh, I'm, I, I'm sitting there fiddling with it, trying to figure out how that worked, and I got really frustrated. But, uh, yeah, certain things are still inaccessible, even on this map. Um, mostly because they are geared up for specific maps, like the Tech Forge, you need the King Titan head to do it. So it does make sense that you couldn't unlock it here because you can't get a King Titan head normally. Now, I don't know how the hell you're carrying that a, tight, a head of a King Titan like that, much less putting it into a, the creation of a mechanical item, but, uh, you know, I only work here. So I don't... Oh! The screen just, uh... We hate it. Yeah, you can see there from those little fiery cracks. Uh, yeah, they like quite a bit. Man. Oh. pause the recording and uh, heal up everybody with uh, a little help from uh, the snow owls. Uh, he got that name, by the way, because in one of my very early episodes, I wanted to try to tame one, and I screwed up and got it killed by a raptor. Uh, and because of that, I felt a bit of shame and uh, ended up doing that. I don't remember which episode it was off the chat. Oh! One more thing! Um, I did make the awesome spyglass. I think I said that in the last video, but, uh, I, it's in my inventory. I just don't use it much. I know some of you have told me to install that mod, and I did. But, uh, honestly, I, I haven't even... Yeah, there we go. And put redemption away. I don't know why I... Boy, the, the the hide and the keratin. Oh well. Got 
gotta say, I really love the way those uh, reddish pink Dynatherium turned out. The Acros, um, they do have some color mutations to them. Like, they have, like, a, a lighter blue stripe. Uh, and some of them have, like, the greenish uh, spots. And I really like it. But I think I, I miss the original red ones that we had, like, the, the second generation of the army. Investigate the gold penguin. <laughs> I do like that penguin, that Kairu. That's really cool. I like how it got a spot, especially on um, Volcano Island. Some levels, 
this would have been a very different fight. There we go. Victory! This would have been a very different fight. You can see there. Even with that, Pele again. Pele and Do and uh, Do and uh, Indy 3.0. They get they get rocked. Uh, hell, everything I think takes quite a bit of damage here. Well, I mean not everything, but. And that, again, owes to the boss's hitbox and the fact that since it can barely move effectively, um, it's limiting the creatures which are taking damage. But yeah, there we go. That's our that's our episode 100. From, well, we're not done yet. Because I want to take these Fenrir's for a spin, and let me tell you, I'm not disappointed in them as creatures. I am disappointed in the fact that they take so, that they take so long, uh, that the price you pay to get back is you have to kill this guy. Okay, we're back. Uh, I think what happens here... Yeah, we put everything away. Yep, time to put everything away. Come on. Take notice of something right now. Um, if when we get a moment to look around, suddenly there, there's a sudden lack of creatures. I don't know what happened. Uh, I, I, I don't know. But suddenly, there are no I didn't dino wipe at any point. Uh, it's just a bunch of them disappeared. But not all of them. Because there's still like some Dimetrodon and there's like a Dodigarus and something running around. But uh, yeah, I get a little frustrated here. Because I want to take the Fenrir that we got for a spin, and there's nothing to kill. So, I had to go looking around, as you see in a sec. And, uh, yeah. There we go, me mentioning about the uh, color would have been right now. But I gotta say, yeah, that was a fun boss fight of, of like, typical art bosses. That is the most fun I've had by far. It's same. It's very similar to Hati and Skull, but much harder, much much stronger boss. Like if I'd been fighting these with just imprinted acros, then it would be a very different ball game. Maybe we'd win, but I doubt it. I think I think mutations were definitely a must, and I think I had more than I needed. But like I'm pretty surprised we didn't lose creatures there. Then I've said that every time we haven't lost creatures. <laughs> so, what do I know? I'm just gonna ha nom some berries real quick so that I'm no longer starving. <sighs> Man, why in the hell am I yawning so much? to say here. What am I doing? I think I'm looking at the Fenrir. Yep. Yeah, we're looking at the uh, Fenrir. We're looking at all the bosses and stuff. and Not the bosses, the, the boss army and seeing how they're doing. Um, they're just throwing out stuff. Here we go with me again being, uh, I love that, I love the person who suggested that I make those folders. Thank you, kindly. That was a great idea, and now I am, like, I don't want to say I'm actually OCD because that is a real medical condition that I don't have, but, uh, you know, I'm definitely <laughs> very particular now. I love having all that negative space. By the way, high protein meat is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 
part of Kraken's better dinos. And what it does is if you force feed it to creatures, and even if you don't, if you just let them eat it, uh, it restores their health a little bit faster than feeding them raw meat. So it's like what people used to think raw prime meat did, except it actually doesn't. Whereas raw prime meat never had that ability. That would be actually using a real cryopod here, except I forget about something very important, as you'll see in just a second. God, this is... <laughs> having, a, having a couple of dumb blonde moments here, and uh, as a blonde, I am allowed to say that. Taking all my stuff out of this box. One reason why I do that with the box is that I don't think you can bring... Uh, actually, wait a minute. I forgot to take him off my shoulder when we did Gamma. So, yeah, because I think he was on my shoulder, right? Yeah. Yes, he was. Okay. Why didn't that... Uh, am I wrong? Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't believe I just now noticed that. Yeah, originally I made these because you couldn't, well, for two reasons. Firstly, to keep my weight down. Secondly, I thought you couldn't take the shoulder pet in because it would count as one of the 20 creatures, but it looks like that wasn't the case. Unless one of my acros, yeah. Well, the acros didn't come through, but I think they all did. So, yeah, see right here? Completely screwed this up. <laughs> I completely forgot about cryos and because of that, I had to wait quite a while before these guys were gone. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, I try and put them away and it doesn't really work. I actually, uh... And the reason why it doesn't work is if you look in the bottom right, you'll see the cryosic is near right there. That's why that you can't just uh, put these creatures away. You have to wait for the actual cryosickness to wear off, even if they won't be awake yet. Okay, yeah, everybody's up now. Wow, that I was just staring at the screen there. What happened? <laughs> yeah, everybody's up now, so it's time to rock and roll, except, as you'll see in a second, there's uh, not a whole lot here to kill. I actually had to restart the game in order to fix this, and I don't know what was causing it, but look at this. All the creatures are just gone. <sighs> I mean, there's like a couple of Dimetrodons and something else, but yeah, this island is just completely barren. I say, I always really like this island. I wouldn't build a base here, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, I see that Parasaur. I don't go for that because I'm a little paranoid of falling off the edge into the lava, which would uh, 
you know, just be a bad time for everybody. Although I think this is the, like, not nearly as bad lava as opposed to, like, the original island lava, which is you touch it, you die. <laughs> At least your player character did. I don't know if your creatures did. I think they took a lot of damage. Man, where's my fire resist enchantment from Skyrim? So I can, like, walk through lava, because that'd be awesome. But yeah, Fenrir, as you'll see, is actually a pretty solid creature. Oh no, there's a Magnusaur. Okay. But yeah, that's like all that's here. There's like a couple of Magnusaurs and then everything's just gone. Oh. At any rate, oh man. Yeah, just gonna go with the Yeah, Fen Fenris Sulfur does get a pack boost of up to plus four, so you need five of them. We only have three here, obviously. But yeah, see, they do some pretty nice damage. They attack very fast with that left click. Uh, we'll get into what right click does in a second. I think that's gonna have to run around and uh, figure out that there are no. I had to run around and figure out that there was like very few other creatures, and that's just that's a red flag. We have already had a similar problem once before. And that's what ended up with me changing one of my settings in Steam so that it would uh, allow these things to spawn and just exist whether or not I'm in the area. They still cease to exist the moment I turn off the game, the same as if uh, you shut down a server, but... Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking and I'm not seeing and it makes me pretty mad. that tree in particular and that one this area is really cool except for the fact that you see that bubbling black water that is absolutely not water but I can still harvest it as water even though it's Car. Yeah, you can see they get pretty decent stamina boot boost from their cruises. They also get some good health from it and good melee. Like by the end, uh, by the end of this, I'm definitely putting out some big D damage. <laughs> start to realize but other than a couple of biometrons there wasn't anything left around here. Yeah, 400 damage is not bad but it can't work out. Also, I'm pretty sure that uh, Venice gains a does something to buff normal direwolves, but I'm not 100% sure. I I didn't get a chance to test it in this video. It's too much to do, and after realizing my mistake, it's like, well, gosh. Here we go, cutting away. Um, 
Yeah, now we're in a very different area of the game, and uh, this is where I would have said, yeah, this is where I had to restart. And, um, yeah, now you can see there are things on the map. Not many of them, but there are things around, so... Uh, as, as I play through, more things started appearing. Which is a good sign. I gotta say, that is a really bright, bright Rex over there. Damn. Well, he's about to be very dead in a second. didn't already. Yeah, I think we just did it. Hold on. Oh. Well, we got the cold blast, by the way. That was the C thing, which causes me to gain the ice spikes, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a bit of armor. Plus, um, yeah, inflicting cold damage on things, too. Especially if you catch them in either the activation or the activation. Uh, it'll freeze them solid, just like Fenris Sulfur. Fenris Sulfur. Ooh, wrecked. But yeah, all in all, I gotta say, this has been a wild ride of a Let's Play, for, especially for given that it was my first one ever. Uh, and it's been a wild ride sharing it with you guys, and it's been an adventure. I really appreciate it. I've got the entire planes here on the order. <laughs> Thank you for all your kind support as I commit mass, uh, mass destruction. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been, it's been absolutely so beautiful. Uh, uh, this game or all, all the above, probably all the above. Um, I apologize for the mix-up here with the audio and why this video will probably have to be uploaded tomorrow. <sighs> oh well, it is what it is, accidents happen. Now, after some levels, I'm hitting for 720 without extra bonus. And that's yeah, like these things don't start out that strong, but they seem to gain a lot more power, a lot more um, stuff. If you do, it's so handy. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, this is a very good feature in my opinion. Uh, I think a bit of work. I think it could have been a little bit better without without too much of a of a problem because you know you have to go through hell to get it, so it should be worthy of a station. And in some ways, it is. But I would definitely consider this a high tier level, like an A or an A. It's definitely like. A minus. In a pack, absolutely devastating, though, as you have seen. Yeah, yeah, they're also very good meat gatherers. Oops, sorry about that. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Uh, there we go. I'm still new to having doing this whole voiceover thing, but I actually kind of enjoy it. It's kind of relaxing, and it just helps. And it's doing it is helping me make out a few mistakes that I can make. Yeah, I'll learn something from it. Well, learn yes, but apply as well. Yeah, but you can see there, Dire Wolf is definitely no joke as far as a creature goes. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what crazy things you can do. I forgot to mention you cannot normally breed them. They do have genders. 
But uh, I have the S Plus Mutator, so I don't care what you can't normally breed because by the power of mods, I shall anyway! Suck on that system. I would say I wish they had done a little bit more with the creature's sounds. I think they just reused the dire wolf and toned it down and like took it down a couple of pockets. This is a cool sound. This right here. This like that 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 howl definitely a sound. And that generates the, if you remember from the mod, uh, the original modded version of this map, it generates that ice ice that I already mentioned. But, uh, yeah, back in those days, back in the days when this was a mod, you had to go to Jotunheim, which was far, far colder than it is now, and you had to go, you had to go not just hang out and hang it there. There was the only place you could get it. Yeah, that was that was pretty wild. I never did that myself. I can still re-download the original mod and have some fun with that, but I'm probably not going to. So we've got this. There we go. Look at that. That's some pretty nice damage. It's nothing compared to the two to four K my uh, my acros do, but that's after that any mutations. No difference. Oosh. Yeah, that also has a freeze effect if you catch someone as you activate or deactivate it. That C button, by the way. Right click does a, a charged bite attack that does a lot of damage and also inflicts a slow from its uh a slow from its ice. What a stunning creature, though. Like, badass, too. Oh. Oh, we're gonna go kill an alpha, and that's that's gonna round off the episode, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We love to see it. And he's frozen. Wreck, buddy. We're trash. Yeah. Yeah, that right click, yeah, that right click deals serious damage at 1,200. That's not bad at all. And yeah, that is that right there is. Uh, now nah, we're getting there. <laughs> but yes, only one boss remains, and. Um, that is the Savage Acrocanthosaurus, again, from the Arc Editions mod. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Once again, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. This has been TBT, signing out.